a lot of people already this morning scratching their heads going, how in the hell is this a double-digit game with Purdue taking on Illinois, two of the best in the Big Ten? Break it down for us. What are we looking at here? Yeah, I'm with you. I felt the same way. Uh, I've got Illinois ranked eighth in the country, and I've got Purdue ranked number two. And while Purdue is very good, I can't see why this line is double digits. In fact, I think it opened 10. It's going to 10 and a half here. Um, Illinois is 11 and two on the season. Their losses came against Marquette and Tennessee, seven points each. Every victory has been by nine points or more. This is a very good Illinois team. Their offensive effective field goal percentage is 55.5, while they only allow 42.5. Uh, they're plus 13, obviously in field goal percentage on the season and that that's really impressive uh this is a legit team who just blew out northwestern 96 to 66 the mm. st wildcats team that purdue suffered their only defeat to <laughs> uh purdue is expected to go a long way come tournament time and i agree this this is a very good purdue team but this line is just simply too high here i i can't no matter how i break this one down i can't get there to lay double digits with purdue I'll take my chances here on Illinois. Uh, I'll, I'll buck the uh, small line movement and uh, take uh, what I think is a comparable team at uh, plus 10 and a half. It made, I mean, granted, I get you don't have Shannon. You're leading, you know, scorer there and, and really, you know, what has been a big part of Illinois' success this year. But it hasn't bothered him the last couple of games that he hasn't been in. They're very efficient offensively. I'm with you. Nothing scarier than having to rely on a Matt Painter coach team to win by double digits. I can't think of anything scarier on the board here tonight.